I got this? Go ahead, go ahead. No, Dre, you get it. Hey, what's up, guys? Myself and Rob, we decided to start a vlog. Um, as you all know by now, or you might not know, we have a movement called Excuse My Accent. Excuse, Excuse my, my accent. accent. Excuse, Excuse my accent. 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 We've been working on this for almost two years now. It's finally time for you guys to catch up and really see what we do every day and how we live our lives and how we dedicate us every second of the day to this movement. Now I sound like a poet a little bit. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. So we, tell uh, them, Rob, tell them. <laughs> so we've been working at this Excuse My Accent thing for a long time. We're going to start out with doing a, a video blog called Making of a Movement. It's like a loop machine. You're welcome to the back seat uh, as we drive this car called Excuse My Accent. Where for Dre, I'm gonna still bring that crowd that you're talking about still to the club. And I promise that. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like certain like spaces and events because I've worked with so many that are in between. So in between the club and... No, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, no, 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 be careful. Uh, and like, classy venue, you know, there's a couple of you know, you can take off the And then like, we, then like, <laughs> me and him met, and then we did like a challenge, where we were gonna play the song, and shoot a video, and we just like, play through, start writing music. We did a song and a video in 48 hours. Because I had a camera like the one I have now, but bigger with lenses, and I shot, I shot the video. And we did everything. It's called Which in track my. Is it? It's called in my head. The song. Oh no, I'm like super passionate about this shit. But when I talk about, excuse my accent, I get super. I don't know. I get excited. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up? How are you? Good. Good. So, this is Celeste, she's a beautiful, talented songwriter, producer, artist. Oh, thank you. How are you? It's so good, how are you? Good. For me, because my mother has an accent. She's Korean, and even though she's been here, she's an American citizen, she still has an accent. And so I grew up with accents, and especially living in Korea, you're, you know, around Korean people, and that's, well, for me, that's all I knew. So I love the, um, the culturistic idea of invoking that into like the American culture as well because I don't think we are cultured enough in other people's um, upbringing you know and other people's background you know because we're so heavily involved in what's going on here it's so important that Dre's culture, your culture, my culture, his culture is all part of one culture. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's supposed to be like the foundation of the American identity, mm. right? And I feel like it's been lost, you know? Or it hasn't been fed to us correctly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's that. Because yeah. it's supposed to be the, this idea of American freedom. And I always say, how do you say this is the land of the free but then when you say this is the land of the free but you only get to speak this language sure. and you only get to do this and you're allowed to come but you're not allowed to come and only three fourths of you can come and one third of, you know what i'm saying so it's like how can you create a land of freedom and then put limitations around the freedom that isn't freedom at all you know mm. what i'm saying and so when we we start to have a culture where we box individuals in our society mm -hmm. we're not allowing people to be comfortable and empowered in their own skin mm -hmm. and i feel like what you just said is so important it's like we overshadow and overlook the reality of where of the many stories and experiences that everyone has. Mm. That's why when I asked you, I said, where are you from? You're mm -hmm. like, I'm, I'm like, oh shit, that's a story. Like, I want to hear, like, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know, that's why I love this project so much. You know what I mean? It sounds like it's gonna be something really, really amazing. So, for the first time, what we're gonna do for the first episode is we're pretty much gonna explain to you everything that's been going on and give you kind of like a backstory. Me and Dre met 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Long time ago. We met because we're both entertainers. Um, I saw he was doing his thing in Seattle. 
Um, my guy Burr Collins was in a group with them, B-O-S-S, -S, Building Our Success Building Story. Burr Collins and Dice Dealey, shout out to them. I shout out to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Burr introduced me to, to Dre, and uh, we did like a challenge. Burr said, you know, this kid got bars, you should check him out, blase, blase. And we did a challenge, we linked up, we were like, yo, actually this is what happened. Dre did exactly that. He was like, <laughs> so I got an idea. I got an idea. It. Yeah, let's, yeah. So we decided... Right, record a song and shoot a music video in uh, 48 hours. <laughs> so at the time, I had a studio in my house. Rob came over, and we did this song called uh, "In My Head." In my head. Roll the clip. Roll, roll the clip. clip. Outcomes. Biggie's first album. Pray I go to heaven in a second. Someone call a reverend. I hear the devils on my shoulder say. I hear the angels on my shoulder say. Now I'm bugging, cause for the first time they both agree on something. The only thing that I fear is a fear, not the spark of plant and see the ghost, the martyrs take form in the smoke. Is this the road I chose to shoot? I check the steering, a couple room turns. Could it be my pops talking to me through the grave? Got me talking to myself now. Nothing is forever, I'ma push it while I can. Dreams of being on stages, rapping like J and M. Never mind those wishes that fade away. Split the switch of sweet. You can call me Sour Dre. Life only comes around once, so live it. Do it big, or fails, no pun intended. So that that's 2010 right there. So yeah, so long story short, we uh, we ran that. We became uh, good friends since then. Worked on music. Off and on, you know what I mean? He moved to LA, I moved to the Bay Area. Shout out to the Bay Area. About three and a half years ago, four years ago, Dre and I were on the phone, we were having a conversation, and Dre was like... Yeah, man, they, they keep talking about my accent all the time, man. And he was like... What should I, do? <laughs> <laughs> what should I do? That's and exactly how it was, <laughs> because... I love hip hop, but I will never sound like I'm from the Bronx or I'm from Compton, you know? I'm from Romania, so... I'll always have an accent, you know, so I was trying to figure out a way to embrace that and, and make that acceptable because I will always get criticism from, even from Romanians back, back home, they'd be like, man, you got an accent, you should do this, you should do that. I'm like, man, I'm just doing what I love, you know, just let me, let me do my thing. And that and is rub. the most fucked up thing that in America we've created a society where you've been told you can't be who you truly yeah. are. That makes no fucking sense. So, we were having this conversation and I was like, yo, Dre, I mean, what people see is your weakness is like your superpower. That's how like superhumans work. So, I think you should not run from it. You should run into it and that becomes your brand. You know, that becomes like your identity. And you should do a song called Excuse My Accent. And that's how it all started, you know, with, with that idea. I think like, 20 minutes later, yeah, we, we called each other, we called <laughs> we called each other, other and we were, like, we were like, man, this idea is bigger than us. We already <laughs> yeah, said this, is, this we is bigger like, than us. We like, and then we start working on the track. You know, at first we had the, the Donuts, uh, two talented producers, they produced Sergio, for her, Sergio and, and Tyler. Her, we started Kendrick up the beat, Lamar. And then Shout we out. had MP from 808 Mafia, yeah. add some drums to it. And then, you know, <laughs> finally the song started coming together. Like a, year a year ago, ago, a year ago, like 11 months, a year ago, we shot the video. Shot the video, it was a big production, 60 actors. Yeah. We had Tian, Richard Stan came in from Romania. Um, a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, people were like involved. A lot of people. Shout out to all of them, you know, it's a big list. We yeah. did the video, and then at the video shoot, we had the Hector Barajas. Uh, come to be in the video in, wearing his uniform. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Rob was already friends with Hector. Like they were talking back and forth. Shout out to Hector. But that was the first time I met him, man. Hearing his story, how he got deported uh, to Mexico and he was going dressed in his uniform to the border every day to find a way to get back in the U U.S. because he had a daughter here. And it was very emotional. And I thought, Rob, Rob, we gotta figure out a way to to. Uh, to tell people this story. And yeah. that's how we started the Excuse My Accent documentary series, which is still under production. We just finished the pilot. Almost done. Almost done. We got like six more days till we could see the first, second rendition. Yeah. Shout out to Tim and Jay. David, David. Everybody that worked on it. You know what I'm saying? You know? The squadron. 
Yes. You know, so it's, shout out uh, to Rika. She's uh, doing a re-edit right now. Yeah, shout out, big shout out to Rika. So yeah, so overall, this has really kind of been a, a an incredible journey, and it's going to continue. Uh, we just got done doing our first premiere of the music video uh, in San Francisco. <laughs> Things are coming together. Everything's starting to pop off really quickly. We want to uh, invite you guys on this ride, making of a movement. You're gonna see a lot of behind the scenes. You're gonna see how this has been affecting a lot of people. Um, you're gonna see how um, this is going to build. Um, you're gonna see how we're willing to renegade for um, the bigger cause. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just following our instincts and we're just gonna go all out on this, you know? So yeah, this is the first episode. We have a lot of exciting things coming up. We have an event in Los Angeles on April 3rd. We're gonna have one in Oakland coming one up Oakland. soon. You're gonna check that out also. Shout out to uh, Bule Kev. Shout out to Bule Kev. He's gonna be hosting and DJing uh, yeah. with us that night. He's gonna yeah, DJ man. for shout us. Shout out to Uncle Damien and Gardy for the last event. Shout out to Audrey Hilbert for the last event. Shout out to Jamal Love. Marketing for... Kings, Jamal Love, Bennett. Yep. Love SF. Everybody. Shout out to the squad. Yeah, yep. man. So yeah. that's it, first episode. Stay tuned and we got a lot coming up, so keep an eye on us. Excuse my accent. It's about to go down. It's about to be cracking. It's, okay, yeah, it's, it's going down. It's crazy. <laughs>